welcome back oh my god it's fucking dark right here welcome back to kaz minicum everybody also known as kaz minicus also known as kaz so finally that thorium update dropped thorium patch thorium update whatever you want to call it it dropped i've been waiting for it peep this oh my god you can actually use the wind chimes for a long time wait <clears throat> i'm very sorry for that uh and also this armor i think is it the ornate armor or is it the armor i'm wearing Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, it's the armor I'm wearing. Go sharply damage my enemies with brass wind. I don't know, actually. Let me see. I don't know. There's an armor set that got buffed. I don't remember what armor. Well, I have the change log right next to me. So let me read from it because this is a pretty important update for the bard. As you can see, purple. Why is that shit purple? Well, maximum inspiration amount increased to 40 after Plantera, which can be reached by using Epiphany Crystals after reaching 30 inspiration. Epiphany Crystals. That's not how you spell Epiphany. Just put fucking funny, dude, because I can't spell that shit. I'm stupid. All right. Even though it's right there, right next to me. Uh, Epiphany Crystals. Five Solar Pebbles, Storium Bars. Where do we get Solar Pebbles? We get them from Jungle Temple enemies after Plantera has been killed. So where are we going? We head into that Jungle Temple. Uh, moving on. Music Sheets are back to costing inspiration. I guess it was a bug before. Holy fuck, that's a lot of inspiration. Uh, it was a bug before didn't know that i felt i felt like it was better before but you know whatever less inspiration for me more toughness for the enemies uh moving on i'm just gonna go down the list here i might miss some honestly because i gotta like, multitask i'm trying to like make it down here at the same time read all this shit so hold up let me just clear the enemies out of the way uh fix a bug where cyan inspiration notes did not work with the inspirational reach yet we experienced that uh so the reason why let me talk about this the reason why these things are made with solar pepper pebbles now like a bunch of things from the jungle are made with solar pebbles as in this double base is because of the little uh the little shit you can do to get into the dungeon now i'm not saying it was me that uh had this thing fixed but might it might have been me because that seems like a very specific thing I probably wasn't the only one to do it, but I definitely help people know that they can do it. So let's just chill here, wait for jungle temple enemies. Uh, moving down the list. Let's see here. Fix some bard weapons costing more inspiration than listed. There you go. That's another one. Uh, increase the tick speed of trombone and kazoo damage. Hell yeah, that one, that definitely needed to get done. All right, let's kill these guys and let's see some solar pebbles. Look at them. Nice little pebbles. So, fuck me, dude. There's no way, don't, 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 okay. There's no way to make those items now without getting these, the solar pebbles. But look, there's a bunch of other weapons too. Cool looking sword. But what do we need? That's not bad at all. I got a lot of thorium bars. Um, and I got a lot of bars. I'm not going to spit any right now because that'd be, that'd be too messy. Y'all get jealous of my bars. Hold up. This does more damage. Holy fuck. Some of these weapons hit hard as hell, dude. And I love it. But uh, I still don't feel like the bard is overpowered in any way. Strong class, though. Probably really good multiplayer. And everyone keeps on asking me. Why do you need to be a multiplayer? Why do you not have thorium? It only makes sense. Oh, it's not like I'm going to have a uh, series, a healer series that's going to focus on having the thorium healer and bard in it. Or anything. No, that wouldn't that wouldn't make sense. Why? Let's just spoil everything now before the actual playthrough. Y'all got to think. What's the point of me like always announcing the healer series every now and then if I wasn't gonna have one? It, no, that's all I'm gonna talk about. Let me go down the list though. I think I gotta I gotta stop recording and scroll down like on the actual page. All right, and the final set of things. A lot of healer changes. See, look, man, this. A lot of these healer changes just coming out, and by the time we get to the healer playthrough, which is kind of soon, I wouldn't say very soon, but kind of soon. It's definitely, it's definitely gonna be dope because the healer is gonna be such a complete class. It's gonna feel like it's just a part of the game at that point. Can I? Yeah, just suck in everything we can from here. All right. Sorry if you hear wind at all. It's fucking. It's starting to finally cool down. I know, like in previous episodes, I think it was summoner. I was talking about like how hot it was. It was like 100 degrees where I live. It's never that fucking hot here. What the hell? Oh, there's a pot right there. I was like, wait, what the fuck was that? I thought that statue shot fire. I'm like, whoa, what the hell did they do that? So, at the bottom it says, Wind Chimes now grant Empowerment Maximum Life 2 instead of Empowerment Movement Speed 2. Very cool. 
and then Riff Weaver, Wind Chimes, 24 Karat Tuba, Fuvuzela, Bassoon, Antlion Maraca, and Trombone Damage Increase. So there's a possibility of me just grabbing the trombone again. I think that's enough. I hope. Let's just kill a couple more. Let's kill a couple more. Couple more. You right there. You're all down there. Alright, that should be good. That should be good. Just go ahead and fucking devour everything. Fuck slurping things up. Devour that shit. Accidentally deset my spawn. Yeah, really good buffs for the bard. And, uh, you know, plain and simple, good buffs, get, get to playing them. Fun, fun again. Damage went up on the trombone, I believe. And the trombone ticks more. We can, like, try it out. Let's try it out. Might as well. Might as well. You know what we're going to try it out on? You know what we're going to try it out on? Something else from Thorium got a little change. And I'm pretty hyped to see these changes. I'm talking about sprite change. I'm talking about music changes. That's the boy right here. The boy who uses the storm flare. This boy, Grand Thunderbird, got some changes. Which I feel like he's been needing because his sprite did look like it was still from like the old Thorium. If y'all know the old Thorium, you know, back when it was on TAPI. That's what his sprite looked like. And it was just like kind of nostalgia like throwback type shit. But let's hear this music. I'm going to turn it up. Music that for you. We're gonna turn it up to 58. Hopefully you can hear me. Am I not in a force? It's not daytime. D wait, do you need to fight him in the desert? Has that always been like that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it hasn't always been like that. I thought he was just a uh, purity by him or forest by him. Yeah, he is a desert boss now. Oh my god! Holy shit! Hey. Okay. Uh huh. Hey, I'm kind of off beat right now. Hey. All right. Ooh. Time out. What is this? All right. Look at that. That shit ticks a lot more. A lot more often than it did. Cause this shit tick like once every like hour. That's really cool. I thought it was a bug for a second, but nah, that was a part of it. That music was bumping though, and the sprite looks fucking awesome. The sprite looks awesome. Oh my god, it's getting really windy. Like the curtain that's behind. Ah, bitch! The curtain just hit me in the head. All right. So yeah, sorry if you. I'm pretty sure my mic doesn't. My mic doesn't pick up a lot of things like amplified. But let's just listen to this music. Now I feel like the the little vultures, the Grand Thunderbird spawn should also probably have a head like that, more round shaped head instead of just looking like the regular vultures this boss seems a lot cooler i want to see its faces though i don't want to insta kill it i want to see its faces got a little spirit of purity in here don't you let me see your faces where's the faces at there we go what was that okay there you go yeah it still has its faces yeah new 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 you know what i'm saying new new summon one while one is still here just murder this guy all right but yeah that's awesome to see new trophy too i love it good job diver man so you never fail to impress and it's hard to when you're such a good mod creator mod master all right let's uh just open these up there's something about like talons and shit but i'm not gonna talk about that stuff that stuff we can care less about right now it's not it doesn't help anything with this playthrough so there's no point in talking about it but uh, yeah, I just wanted to peep the new Grand Thunderbird. Uh, possibly will be in the thumbnail. And I know my thumbnails and uh, titles. Well, thumbnails are always going to be the same, honestly. But I know the titles have been a little bit more clickbaitish. And as much as I hate it, hate doing it, given the uh, stage YouTube is in currently and how much money like I don't make anymore, it has to be done. Like I'm sorry, I'm here. I'm apologizing for it. But it just has to be done currently. And honestly, as much as I hate it, it's there's a truth about clickbaiting. There's something that's so involved with clickbaiting. And that thing is, would you click on a video if the thumbnail and title was boring? Like if that shit said Terraria modded playthrough 
episode one. And then the title's all the way at the end where you can't see it. Grand Thunderbird boss. That shit says Doria Mod. Like, bitch, first off, that's a long ass title. Look at that shit. <laughs> we zoom in, look at that shit. That's like the whole entire screen. This is, like, honestly, if I saw that, I wouldn't click on it. There's a lot of videos, like, there's a lot of good content creators that have titles like, like that. But I just wouldn't click on it because I'm uninterested. And then the thumbnail would just be like a terrar like a vanilla Terraria sprite with a number one next to it. Honestly, I'd probably click on that if it looked really cool. But it's just like given how YouTube is recently and how much I really want to switch to Twitch. But it's like really hard to do that. Just be like, hey, I'm going to go to Twitch, especially if you're not a, a partner. I, j I just can't. I just, it's just what I have to do for now. I'm very sorry for it. Like, I'm here apologizing to you guys. I'm very sorry. But let's move on. Let's move on. Shut the fuck up, gamer. Stop talking. Why'd I clap? Uh, Plaguebringer, Goliath. Oh, we didn't beat the Leviathan. This is the Lich. Oh, fuck. The Lich and Calamitas. Let's go for those two. Let's go for those two. How do you do the Lich again? Grim Harvest Sigil. Why would, why'd I make that noise? All right. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get a Grim. Grim is out of But first, we should make some stuff. Wow, that sounds such like a fucking bitch right there when I said that. But first, uh, well, what was it called? F Finny, Finny Crystals. Epiphany. Boom. How many was it? I don't know. Let's just... Let's see here. Okay. Oh, there was something... These are orange now. Okay, this is when we get the orange. So we got, like, what? Six more we can make? I don't know. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, we're gonna make, uh, six more. That sounds about right. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> might, might have got a little bit out of tune there. So there was something, there's also a buff. Fuck, I don't remember what the buff was. But something about like, every time you use a crystal now, there's some, there's like an extra bonus buff now. A little added benefit. Let's make this look better. All right. Let's get all the inspiration stuff up there. Let's get all this stuff over here. There you go. Looks a little bit better. Um, I don't remember the exact buff. Have the pumpkins grown yet? I placed some pumpkins. I don't know if they've grown. Uh, I guess in the meantime, we can make the calamitous shit. Calamitous shit. So might as well do that. What is, what do you, what do you make? Eye of Desolation. Can I just straight up? Eye of Desolation. Hell yeah. There you go. There's that. Now we're probably gonna have to fight it more than once, honestly. Knowing uh, how great I am of a fighter against calamity enemies as a bard, probably gonna need a little bit more. We're gonna fuck. We gotta fight over there. I think I gotta reset up the arena over there. I'm just gonna go take the shit from the Plantera place, honestly, because we're not gonna use this shit again unless I already took it. I don't remember. Took it. Take it. Take. Took it. Ta taking it. Take. Take it. I think I was right the first time. Uh, let's, let's did, I, did I take everything from here? Oh fuck! So might as well, right? <laughs> might as well, right? You know, give it one more, one last use. Hello. All right. I guess I guess we're not giving it one more last use. All right. Nighttime has arrived. The black automaton and actually all of them have uh, automaton have been changed. They don't do shadow damage. Everything that did shadow damage was taken out because Diverman Sam thought it was pretty much useless or out of place. I don't remember exactly what he said. So let's do this. Buff up. I have Calamitas. It's go time, baby. I'm ready. Oh fuck! I didn't place the books. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Walk into those. Thank you. Hold on, I, need, I actually really need to place these. These are important. And we cannot put damage while we're doing it, too. Nice try, but bad try. I can't even fucking see what you're doing there now. It's so goddamn dark, I, can, I really can't see what attacks. Wait, I never even turned on the shit. Hold up, chill out. Right, you know what? I don't, need, I don't need the fucking buffs. We're a little bit higher. Okay, now we need the buffs. I bet we're gonna get our ass beat here. Hold up, hold up. Shades are dead. All right, I'm gonna fuck you up. Hold on, my face is itchy. Okay. Damn, dude, look at our inspiration. That shit not moving. That shit is not moving. That shit is not moving, my boys. Oh my. Salad? Sorry, is your name Calamitas or is it Salad? You just got fucking tossed. 
my girl. She just got tossed. I'm sorry. Obliteration has been... Give me an ancient log. Give me another eye of desolation. Let's go. Hey, what's up, ancient log? Good old BTF thing. Alright, let's fuck this, fuck this girl up again. I ain't talking about it in the note. I'm not even in the note. Let's not crack that joke. I feel like if I crack that joke, it's kind of messed up. All right, so let's let's switch to the flute. Let's get the flute popping off. The flute ain't gonna get no damn use. I'm not the clarinet. The clarinet ain't gonna get no damn use. I bet in the future. It's just a feeling. So might as well get its use out now. Uh, I gotta make that terrarium heart. I don't know if we'll make it this episode or next episode. This is more like a catch-up episode. Uh, sorry. Catch-up episode. Okay, ch chill out, chill out. Catch up, catch up, catch. Catch up episode due to the recent updates and shit. All right, here you go. You can have all this shit I don't need. It's pretty much like all of it. I'll keep two of those. I don't need any of that BTFA stuff. So I actually buy one of those back. Uh, sure, man. You can have all that. You can. You know what they say. You can do whatever you like. Ti said that. But let's look at all the stuff. You see, no more. No more uh, black, black magic or whatever the hell. <laughs> black shadow damage. There you go. Do we have enough pumpkins here? Cause I want to go fight this boss real quick before my uh, buffs wear out. But I think they're gonna wear out either way. Shouldn't matter. Cause we are very strong. We're we're cut. We're cut. We're cut. We're cut. Ca I'm having some troubles right now. We're past a lot of a lot of these bosses. Like we're past the rank. We fought bosses harder. We didn't really have too much of a problem against them. Sigil. Hey, look. Smithis Sigil. Let me grab one of those. Good old Smithis. Multiplayer series. Shout out. Fun series so far. I'm loving it. Loving it so far. Uh, there's just little tweaks we gotta do here and there when it comes to me and Ryan doing the streaming slash recording thing. But uh, those will all get buffed out. Let's do it. Let's go. Flute boys. Loot only playthrough. Yeah, we should be able to slaughter these guys like nothing now. Given uh, how strong we are. As long as I don't get hit by that fucking like wormhole he opens up. Yeah, that did a good bit of damage. There's that wormhole. Get away from that. What's it called? Does it have a name? I don't remember what the hell the name was. Alright, go into your like angry shit so I can uh oh my god, I think there's a Go into your angry shit so I can bassoon your ass. Buffoon, bitch! I'm making you look like a buffoon. Like that? The hell is that noise? Who's screaming? Oh, was that him talking? You talking all that shit? Boy, you starting to smell like it. All that shit you talk starting to smell. That shit adds up, man. Can you like come out from under there? Come this way. Come this way. I'm gonna detonate. Ooh, that didn't do that much damage. <laughs> what about triangle? Triangle doing anything on you? I mean, triangle is just a good weapon. Oh, don't switch your position. But the flute's actually been doing some work because it homes and it shoots like three shots when it homes. But it's all about the automaton. No love for the guitar. Give all of them some love. Yeah, since this patch came out, I think the bard is starting to reach that that kind of that healer area. It's starting to reach that healer area. You know what I'm saying? If I were to do a single player healer. I would, uh, it would be, uh, the, what was it, the radiant damage is an armor set that came out that allows you to do more radiant damage or something like, like, sacrifice, sacrifice your healing for radiant damage, but we'll see how I balance that out when the playthrough comes to that point, I don't think any of this stuff is gonna be useful, not even the cursed cloth, yeah, not useful, everything else can just stay in there, this stuff, I will put in here. Hopefully I remember to do stuff with those guys. I don't even think there's anything useful. But let's look what weapons or armor accessories I can make. Alright, so we're going to try and make a bunch of terrarium stuff here. Hopefully I have enough for it. I don't know. We'll see. Let's type in terrarium. Well, we can't make them straight off the bat, so it ain't looking too good. There's the harp. The auto harp. And there's the surround sound. This one might actually be useful. Because it increases symbolic damage by 10%. Might be actually useful. So, what do we need from this? I'm guessing ectoplasm is what we're missing. No, we got ectoplasm. Uh, let's let's go through a one by one. Or actually, let's do this. I got an idea. 
We got so much gold on this character. I don't think it would be a problem if we spent a bunch of it on bars just to kind of get that out of our head. God, I still love this uh, cello. I'm not building any more houses on this world. I'm satisfied with the, with the builds currently. So look, it's like a cello and then it's like playing all the music notes. And then we just got like the tower. That's the end of the, the music sheet paper. I, I was going to put a bunch of like paper here to make it a music sheet, but that would be a lot of work. And also, given that I wanted to use the like pirate paper background, that'd probably take up a lot of frame rate too. Even though I got a new 1070, I bet it still would just kill my game. I don't know, I haven't had any frame rate problems other than the fact that when fraps feels like acting like shit. It happens occasionally, it usually happens when I run out of memory. I know I'm buying the same of each bar, but why not? I know it happens sometimes when I'm out of memory. Uh, but sometimes fraps is just like, nah, bitch. And then I have to switch to OBS, but it's usually for Minecraft is when I switch to OBS. Because I don't feel like doing it for Terraria, man. I always do Terraria with fraps. So, like, might as well, you know, keep that tradition up. Alright, so apparently, uh, you need a ancient matter manipulator for terrarium. You know, I'm an old school Thorium player, but, uh, it's, it's fine. I'll see y'all next time.